இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் அபவுட் பேர்னிங் மேன் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் சிச்சுவேட்டட் இன் த பிளாக் ராக் டெசர்ட் ஆஃப் நார்த் வெஸ்ட் நிவேடா அப்ராக்சிமேட்லி ஹண்ட்ரட் மைல்ஸ் நார்த் நார்த் ஈஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ரெனோ இஸ் ஏ மெட்ரோபாலிஸ் நேம்டு அஸ் பிளாக் ராக் சிட்டி த சிட்டி சீம்ஸ் ஓன்லி டு எக்ஸிஸ்ட் வேன் பேர்னர்ஸ் கிரியேட்டிட் எஸ் வி ஆர் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் த மோஸ்ட் ஃபன் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் ஆஃப் த பிளானட் த பேர்னிங் மேன் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் the creativity the insanity the identity and the fun fenced in one land some interesting facts about burning man festival larry harvey and jerry james founders of the festival were the two friends from san francisco one day harvey calls jerry and says let's burn a man jerry so the two friends build an 8 feet tall effigy made up out of scrap lumber and burnt it on the beach of San Francisco. The event works as a gifting society which means you can share things with your neighbors. There is no corner store and all the attendees have to come prepared with things of convenience like toothbrush, towels or extra food. Thankfully, there are two luxury items you can purchase. and they are ice and coffee the event comes to play in the summer solstice the venue is in a desert that implies extreme hot in the day and extreme cold in the night it can be sunny at the moment turning to stormy and the very next second can be rainfall after all the festival is all about testing your limits every burner follows 10 strict principles inside the city that are radical inclusion radical self reliance radical self expression communal effort civic responsibility gifting decommodification participation and leave to trace it takes so much to live in an awesome place all the burners have their own glossary complete from a to z so if you are a newcomer you need to watch out for yourself being in burning man is not just being an attendee you have to participate an entire city of more than 70000 people rises from the collective efforts of all the burners according to burners it's how you live your life the burning man's real showcase in burning effigy it started with an 8 feet tall effigy growing 200 feet tall FPG until now in 2014 all the newbies setting their foot in the land of banning map are called virgins entering the gate virgins have to cross the line made in sand and then roll in the sand ringing the gong they have to shout i am not a virgin anymore three times and the most magical and imaginative world is yours The welcome in the burning man is given by gugs. If you meet a burner, you have to greet by hugging. There's even a camp that trades hugs named Hug Dilly, which trades varieties of gugs. Although the festival had set up its route in the year 1986, it was not operated under legal event permit until 1991. According to the most recent census on attendees of the event 80% of the banners are identified as white 4% as hispanic and 1% as black If getting dusty is together so do you wash together in burning man they have a wash station where you get your foam bath together first you have to share leather and wash others ending with when you will be washed by others the ticket to this amazing wonderland ranges from 190 dollar to 1200 dollar each along with that burning man publish its expenses report each year that tells us to where the amount is going the first google doodle announced the founders attendance at burning man in 1998 There is an observatory known as Black Rock Observatory 
built in the year 2014. It includes two 21 foot domes and a 20 inch telescope. You can see Saturn, see Jupiter's moons, far flung galaxies. It is completely normal to see nudity in Burning Man. Well, apart from that, there are camps that offer or should say practice all sorts of sexual acts. There is a restriction on participants wishing to use photo and video recording equipment. They should share joint copyright of their images of Black Rock City with the Burning Man and it forbids them from using their images of commercial purposes.